good morning, boys and girls, and happy Easter! I'm so glad that we could spend Easter morning together via Zoom. I hope I hope that you've had a wonderful uh, Sunday morning and uh, that you've had time to reflect on this special, special day. Um, I said to Lily and Caitlin, um, today is why we do what we do. If Jesus didn't raise from the dead, we wouldn't be living out our Christian walk. It'd be all worth nothing. But because he lives, he rose from the dead, the resurrection happened, we can have hope, we can have peace, and we can trust in the Lord and one day be with him. All right, so why don't we pray um, before we start our time together and and read our Bible story together and uh, let's have Jesus meet with us this morning, okay? All right, let's do our P. R A Y and let's pray. God, we thank you so much um, for um, how you rose from the dead. Your the the resurrection that happened um, that day many many years ago, and we live today. We have hope today. We have peace today because we know you. We are walking in fellowship with you. We're Christians, and we thank you for the hope that you gave us. Um, long, long time ago. And Father, we'll never comprehend it in our brains, but we believe it with all our heart that you are alive. And we just rejoice today knowing that, Jesus. God, would you meet with us? God, would you speak to our hearts and help us to comprehend this beautiful story, Father? And so, Lord, as we read your word even now, God, I just pray, God, that your presence would be with us, Father, in your precious and your holy name. Amen. All right, so go grab your Bibles. We're going to read a little portion of scripture, and I'm sitting outside. It's so beautiful. The sun's shining. I can hear the birds. My my cat is over here doing what he does. All he does is eat. He says hello, but he's eating again, and so that's all he does, and so we we do like him, but he, he mostly just eats and sunbathes. That's what Tiger, that's his name. That's what he does, so well, let's let him do that. Okay, so we're reading today in, I lost my spot, we're reading in John, John uh, chapter 20, and we're going to read about the resurrection. What does that even mean, that big long R word? Well, let me tell you, we're going to read John chapter um, 20, we're reading from verses 1 to 10, okay? So here we go, the resurrection. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stones had been rolled away from the entrance. What was going on? She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one whom Jesus loved. She said, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. What is going on here? What what happened? And Peter and the other disciples started out for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciples, disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He, he, he swooped and looked in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside, and he also noticed the linen wrap, wrappings lying there. So what is going on? The tomb is open. The, the linen wrap, wrappings are lying there. Where is Jesus? What is happening, boys and girls? What's going on here? While the cloth that had covered Jesus' feet was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. Ooh, what did he believe? Now this is getting interesting. For until then, they still hadn't understood the scriptures that said Jesus must rise from the dead. And then they went home. So we know, God, boys and girls, we know, sorry there, we know that Jesus couldn't be contained in that tomb, could he? We know that Jesus, he rose from the dead and he lives in heaven, right? He died a terrible death on that cross. It was awful and our minds will never comprehend the pain and the suffering that he experienced. But he did it for you. And he did it for me. And I hope you boys and girls can realize that today. You were bought with a very, very expensive price. And that that price was paid on the cross. It was. 
And so, boys and girls, I hope that you're walking in fellowship with Jesus Christ. Um, we have hope today because Jesus lives, because he rose from the dead, because he lives in heaven. He did it for you, and he did it for me. And um, we believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ, he rose from the dead. And we, we just have so much hope today. So, hallelujah, eh, boys and girls? All right, so, boys and girls, I really hope that you can take hold of this scripture if you have questions, ask your mama or your dad or ask your grandparents or email me and ask me. I would love to sit and talk about this beautiful, beautiful story. Out of the whole entire year, today on Easter is what it's all about. It's what it's all about. And that's why we do what we do. Because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow and you can too. All right, boys and girls, so that's our Bible story today. It's the best one you'll ever, ever hear in your entire life because it's a good one. All right, so I've got a lot of little treats here, you know. How many of you guys like chocolate? You know, I, I just love chocolate. Anyways, and so what? Our, our, our uh, Bible series is called, do you remember what it's called? It's a treasure hunt. So, boys and girls, we are going to get together, and we're going to have a treasure hunt, okay? Um, I haven't said on the calendar yet, because we are just, um, we're going to do that. We're going to put it on the calendar, and we're going to meet together, and we're going to have a huge old treasure hunt, and we're going to have lots of yummy, um, yummy chocolate snacks, and we're going to have fun, okay? Are you guys into fun? Are you guys into chocolate? I know I am, and I know that Lily and Katie are, so stay tuned. We're going to set that date on the calendar, and we're going to get together, and we're going to have a blast. We're going to have the biggest treasure hunt ever, okay? All right, so blessings to you. Reflect on Jesus' birth and, and, his, and his resurrection. He, he was born on Christmas Day, but we celebrate him today because he lives, right? All right, so have a great day in the Lord, and we will see you soon to have that treasure hunt. Bye for now. Happy Easter, everybody. Oh, good morning, boys and girls. There is just so much chocolate in this Crozier house this morning. I can't contain myself, boys and girls. Boys and girls, do you like Smarties? Oh, I love Smarties. It's one of my favorite treats. You know, you, we can even make cookies with Smarties. Did you know that, boys and girls? Well, happy Easter to every boy and girl here this morning. Happy Easter to you. I hope that you have had time to read the resurrection story of the special day that happened on Easter. Hope that you've had some yummy chocolates and I hope that you can reflect today on Jesus's birth in the peace and the hope that we can have in Jesus Christ isn't that exciting boys and girls yes it is yes it is so happy Easter to everybody tuning in today I have to go and make a apple pie for tomorrow so boys and girls, happy Easter, have a great day in the Lord, and never forget what Jesus Christ has done for you on that cross. You were bought with a very, very expensive price, but Jesus loves you so, so much. Boys and girls, I hope you know that. So happy Easter, and we will see you soon. Have a great day in the Lord. Bye, boys and girls.